Happy Monday, everybody. My name is Brandon Rosa, and welcome to another episode of the Xbox in 10 podcast, your weekly source of Xbox gaming news covered in around 10 minutes. Every Monday, this podcast covers new game releases, the previous week's gaming news, and we all learn an Xbox-related fun fact together. This show is on podcast services around the world, so please subscribe on your favorite, tell a friend, and leave a review. Xboxin10.com, no numbers, is your quick source for links to all of our podcast destinations and social media profiles, which you can follow at Xboxin10. To start, let's talk game releases. The big games out last week were Avicii and Vector and Terminator Resistance. The games coming out this week are The Sims 4 Discover University, Untitled Goose Game, which is also coming to Xbox Game Pass, Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger 9, Borderlands 3 Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot, Cold Silence, and Airy Little Bird Adventure. Now on to last week's biggest news stories, and we have eight to cover this week. Number one, and of course the leading story, the reveal at the Game Awards of the Xbox Series X, the new console. Power your dreams with Xbox Series X, available holiday 2020. This is by Phil Spencer on Xbox Wire, and this is a bit of a long one, but obviously the biggest news story of the year. For 18 years and three console generations, the Xbox community has shown us the power both games and fun can have on all of us. As we enter a new generation of gaming, we see a future where you're instantly absorbed in your games, where worlds are even more lifelike, immersive, responsive, and surprising, and where you are at the center of your gaming experience. With the new Xbox Series X, we will realize that vision. Xbox Series X will be our fastest, most powerful console ever, and set a new bar for performance, speed, and compatibility, allowing you to bring your gaming legacy, thousands of games from three generations and more forward with you. Its industrial design enables us to deliver four times the processing power of Xbox One X in the most quiet and efficient way, something that is critically important in delivering truly immersive gameplay. We also designed the Xbox Series X to support both vertical and horizontal orientation. It's bold and unique, very much like our fans around the world and the team of collaborators and innovators who built it. The name Xbox is an expression of our deep history in gaming, our team's unrelenting passion, and our commitment to both our fans and the future of gaming at Microsoft. It also signifies our belief that a gaming console should be just for that, gaming. Alongside Xbox Series X, we also unveiled the new Xbox wireless controller. Its size and shape have been refined to accommodate an even wider range of people. It also features a new share button to make capturing screenshots and game clips simple, and a hybrid D-pad inspired by the Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2. The new Xbox Wireless Controller will be compatible with the Xbox One and Windows 10 PCs, and will be included with every Xbox Series X. The possibilities of what Xbox Series X enables developers to achieve was also brought to life this evening with the unveiling of Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, a sequel to the award-winning Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice from world-renowned developer Ninja Theory. The game is being built to leverage the full power of Xbox Series X. The footage shared tonight was captured in-engine and reflects the power of Xbox Series X available to developers to deliver new universes, experiences, and games in ways you have never imagined. From a technical standpoint, the Xbox Series X will have world-class visuals in 4K at 60 frames per second, with possibility of up to 120 frames per second, including support for variable refresh rate and 8K capability. Powered by our custom design processor leveraging the latest Zen 2 and next generation RDNA architecture from our partners at AMD, Xbox Series X will deliver hardware accelerated ray tracing and a new level of performance never before seen in a console. Additionally, our patented variable rate shading technology will allow developers to get even more out of the Xbox Series X GPU and our next generation SSD will virtually eliminate load times and bring players into their gaming worlds faster than ever before. We are minimizing latency by leveraging technologies such as Auto Low Latency Mode and giving developers new functionality like Dynamic Latency Input to make Xbox Series X the most responsive console ever. Xbox Series X is also designed for a future in the cloud with unique capabilities built into the hardware and software to make it as easy as possible to bring great games to both console and elsewhere. Xbox Series X will deliver a lever of fidelity and immersion unlike anything that's been achieved in previous console generations. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I said Xbox Series X there, but I could not be more excited. The announcement came out of nowhere when watching the Game Awards. There was no rumors or leaks that this was going to happen, and for the first minute of the trailer, it looked like it was just going to be another game. I think they did everything right with this announcement. They captured the moment. Sony is still yet to announce the PS5 in more detail. Besides a couple of news stories, this got put on screens all over the world, and now they currently control the conversation. 
the thing is, when are we going to see more of it? If they wait another six months till E3, when Sony does likely an event sometime in February or March, which they will then steal back the spotlight. Xbox needs to control the conversation, be in charge, and go in headfirst this console generation. Their messaging at the last start of the console generation with Xbox One was terrible, and that's why they are so far behind the PS4 when compared to the Xbox One. Again, I think Microsoft and Xbox are doing everything right, talking about their 15 Xbox game studios working on the next generation, all the compatibility from the original Xbox up to the Xbox Series X, with all your accessories working from Xbox One to the new generation, I simply cannot wait for holiday 2020 and to find more out about this console and what games we can play on day one. Number two, Ori and the Will of the Wisps delayed until March. Nicole Carpenter at Polygon writes, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is now slated for a March 11th, 2020 launch on Windows PC and Xbox One. But ahead of the release date, developer Moon Studios gave fans another look at Ori and the Blind Forest with a follow-up at the Game Awards in Los Angeles. The game was originally planned for a February 11th, 2020 release date. I started Ori and the Blind Forest a while back, but unfortunately I never finished it. It is a game I would like to get to before this new game in March, but there's just so much to play. Number 3. New Gears Tactics trailer shows off very XCOM looking gameplay. Phil Hornshaw at GameSpot writes, Microsoft had a major showing at the Game Awards 2019, the official reveal of the next-gen console Xbox Series X, but the studio had games to show off too, such as the Coalition's upcoming strategy game Gears Tactics, a new trailer revealed at the Game Awards, and the gameplay looks remarkably like an XCOM game. Though it was announced at E3 2018, the Game Awards represented our first real look at the game. The trailer for Gears Tactics shows that you'll send Gears into battle against a host of Locust creatures, suggesting it's set during the original Gears trilogy, and the war against the Locust, rather than during the time period establishing Gears of War 4 and Gears 5. It's a different approach to that war than we're used to, but Gears Tactics isn't going to skimp on your opportunities to fight for Sarah. According to the trailer, it packs a story campaign of 40 hours or more. Gears Tactics is set to release on Xbox One and PC with Windows 10 and Steam, and will launch on Xbox Game Pass on April 28th, 2020. I haven't played too much of this genre, but I actually loved Mario plus Rabbids on the Nintendo Switch, more of like Baby's First XCOM, but I am excited to see it with the Gears of War franchise and the story. Love that world, and I'm definitely going to try it on Game Pass. Number 4, Sea of Thieves gets a sorely needed and charming tutorial. Case Marshall of Polygon writes, Sea of Thieves is a fantastic open world, rules light, pirate game, but since launch the game has badly needed a tutorial. Playing with friends always required me to hold a bit of a seminar on how to use equipment, check maps, and repair a ship. Now Rare has added a tutorial that covers all of the above in spades. A maiden voyage will now be available to new players. The mode shares a little bit of story with the players regarding the Sea of Thieves and the Pirate Lord, which is helpful to know before the game's Tall Tales quests. The tutorial also has players fight a skeleton, dig up chests, catch chickens, and sail their sloop for the first time. Any player can complete the maiden voyage at any time from the main menu, in case you want to brush up on your mechanics after a long break from the game. Really glad that they're adding this to the game, as this is something I probably need to do in the many attempts I've gone back and try and play Sea of Thieves. This will be a great first start for me when I finally find the time to play it. Number 5, The Outer Worlds Update 1.2 fixes a dreaded bug, but the solution was anything but simple. Richard Wakeling at GameSpot writes, The Outer Worlds was released back in October to critical praise. Since its launch, however, numerous players have reported a bug, where the game thinks one of your companions is dead, causing you to fail certain quests. Update 1.2 for The Outer Worlds is now rolled out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, thankfully fixing the strange bug, but Obsidian's QA lead, Taylor Swoop, has revealed just how difficult it was to solve. At underscore Taylor Swoop on Twitter, he revealed in an 1828 thread exactly what it was that went into solving this bug, and I wanted to include this story for anyone that was trepidatious about playing the game or had this happen. Hopefully, it is now fixed. Number 6, Telltale Games The Wolf Among Us 2 reconfirmed. Jonathan Dornbush at IGN writes, the new Telltale Games has announced that The Wolf Among Us 2 is back in production with a planned release on PC and consoles. Revealed during the Game Awards 2019, LCG Entertainment as Telltale revealed that The Wolf Among Us 2 is back in development, in partnership with Ad Hoc Studio, a developer featuring several former Telltale employees. The Wolf Among Us 2 will come to PC as an Epic Game Store exclusive, and to consoles though no release date has been announced. For all you Wolf Among Us fans out there, we now have a number 2 coming your way. I never played the first one, but I know how many fans are out there. Number 7. Fast and Furious Crossroads coming in May, a movie-based game. There were several announcements made during the Game Awards 2019, one of which included a reveal trailer for a licensed game from the Fast and Furious movie franchise. The game is called Fast and Furious Crossroads, and it looks to be a mix of races, car chases, action, and drama. 
character models have the likeness of some of its characters such as Dom Toretto, Vin Diesel, and Letty Ortiz, Michelle Rodriguez. The game will be coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC in May 2020. It is being developed by Slightly Mad Studios, the team that worked on the Project Cars series and a few Need for Speed games, and is published by Bandai Namco. I gotta say, this game just looks bad, the visuals are not great, and it's surprising that we've never had a true Fast and Furious game before, as the movies are pretty much video games at this point, but it'll be cool to see if they can make something fun of it, and we'll find out in May. And number 8, which would have been the biggest news stories for me this week had the Project Xbox Series X announcement not come, Resident Evil 3 Remake official release date on consoles and PC announced, Resident Evil Resistance multiplayer included. Richard Wakeling at GameSpot writes, The oft-rumored and leaked Resident Evil 3 Remake has been confirmed as part of PlayStation's final state of play of 2019. The game also includes the previous revealed cooperative multiplayer title Resident Evil Resistance, and is coming to PS4, Xbox One, and Steam on April 3rd, 2020. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is one of those games I don't remember all too well, but Resident Evil is one of my favorite franchises of all time, and seeing how good it looks compared to the original is just mind-blowing. They've nailed it with Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I can't wait to play this one. Unfortunately, I do not have Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on GameCube, so I had to go on eBay and pay 65 bucks for it. But those are my life decisions. As always, we end our show with a fun fact about Xbox, and this one is about Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. The award-winning actor who plays Senua in Hellblade wasn't originally an actor at all. She was Ninja Theory's video editor who was used as a stand-in for technical tests. In her first ever acting role, Melina Jurgens went on to win a BAFTA for Best Performance. And what an amazing performance that was, that was one of the most uncomfortable I've ever been in a video game, and I absolutely loved it and cannot wait for that sequel. Thank you all for listening to another episode of the Xbox in 10 podcast, your weekly source of Xbox gaming news covered in around 10 minutes. If you like the show, please subscribe on your favorite podcast service, share it with your friends, and follow on all social media at Xbox in 10. This past week, I've been continuing my journey in Jedi Fallen Order, still loving it, and been playing through the Kalo Reach campaign with my buddy. My name is Brandon Rosa. You can follow me on Xbox at Broza93. I hope you all have a great week and keep on gaming.